Are you getting ready to present in Zoom and you wanna make sure that you can see your slides as well as the chat in Zoom meeting? Well, I'm gonna walk you through how to do that predominantly here just on a Mac. I'm not saying PC users, you can't keep watching because I'm sure there is a hack for you as well, um, but I'm just gonna walk you through the steps that I coach all of my speakers who are presenting you know, at a webinar or even a meeting just to make sure they have a very smooth transition from sharing their screen with their slides in full screen to then also being able to navigate and see the chat. Before we jump into it, I'm Logan Clements. I'm a freelance event producer based here in Seattle, Washington, but I execute events here and all over the world. I uh, would like to remind you to like, subscribe, turn on that little notification bell so you get notified every single Monday when I drop new videos. I'm also the co-host of the Better Events podcast with fellow event pro Mary Davidson, where we dive even more into some of these topics around Zoom, event production, event planning, freelancing and events. You name it, we probably have an episode about it, and we are very excited. We are actually hosting the Better Events Conference this December 2023, if you're still watching this this year. If not, we're going to be hosting it annually, but uh, please join us. It's going to be an amazing day, virtual, for all of our event planners and producers and event vendors from around the world can join us since it's virtual, and it's going to be on December 20th, and we hope to see you there. So one of the biggest questions that I get from speakers as well as some of you folks here on YouTube is all about being able to see every thing at once to see their slides, see your notes, see the chat. And so I figured it'd be helpful to put together just a quick kind of step by step of what I do. Uh, the hard part here is I am going to be utilizing two screens. I'm looking at you all on my laptop and to the right I have a second monitor. And so what I'm going to do is I'll kind of toggle through these views here. You're just only going to see, you'll see me talking and then you'll see my two different screens. And I'll try to be super clear about which one is which. But I guess before I jump into it, my biggest tip for you if you are presenting is to have two monitors. Why? Because the more monitors you have, the more real estate you have to play with, with your slides, with your notes, with the chat, with whatever else you have to see while you're presenting. If you're trying to do it all from one laptop, it's not impossible. It's just a lot more complicated and you are going to get a little restricted. Like if you want your slides full screen, you can't see your notes at the same time versus if you have two monitors. So. I'm on two monitors. I am using a uh, MacBook Pro for those of you at home. Like I said, PC, I'm sure there's some hacks that are similar to this, but I'm just walking you through step by step with my MacBook uh, since that's just what I use all the time. All right, so here you get your Zoomception of this is Zoom on my laptop. I'm still recording myself here. Um, and then I'm just gonna toggle over so you can see my secondary display. On my second monitor, I have my sample title, my sample presentation. You guys have seen these probably in my other videos. So if I was your presenter and we'll go back to Zoom, let's say I'm here in Zoom and I did an introduction and now I wanna get ready, I'm gonna share my slides. And so my first step that I have for you would be to go looking at your secondary display is we're gonna go into full PowerPoint mode. So now we're in full presentation mode on my secondary monitor. Now, the interesting thing I wanna show you here on my first monitor is, oh no, where did Zoom go? I see now my note slides from PowerPoint because when I go full presentation mode in PowerPoint, it takes over both your screens. That's just what it does and it's helpful if you have notes. But now you're going, Logan, where is Zoom? So this is where we diverge if you were a PC user because for a Mac user, I have my F3 key. It just makes all my programs super teeny tiny small and this is where I can then select which program I want. So I'm selecting Zoom meeting. So now an interesting thing here is that you can see behind my notes, and it's again the inception of it all, <laughs> you can behind my Zoom, you can still see my notes, but now I can see myself in Zoom. So that was a lot of clicks just to get my presentation up, but now we're gonna go share screen. And this is where I think, depending on who you are, you can do either desktop two, which would show all of your slides full screen as well, or I always like to just select the program. That way you don't have external pop-ups or anything that kind of comes up. So I always, if I'm using PowerPoint, I'm gonna select PowerPoint. Friendly reminder here, if you have sound or video clips in your, in your presentation, please check those boxes. I don't right now, so I'm not going to. So now I'm gonna hit share screen. One more time, let's just check on my other monitor. You can see here, I still have my full screen slides on my secondary monitor. I still have my notes here on my laptop directly in front of me. In the upper right hand corner, you can see Zoom now has given me my own little preview window. And then one of the coolest updates of Zoom right now, it says at the top of my screen, you are screen sharing. I'm gonna click that and it's gonna show me what everyone else is seeing. 
No more of this like, can you see my slides? What are you seeing? What screen are you seeing? That is what my audience is seeing. And it just, I love this as a producer. I want to see my, I have my PowerPoint to my right. I've got my notes right in front of me. I got my webcam. My notes are right below my webcam. That's perfect. And then a lot of folks also want to know the chat. So here's where you can click on the chat icon. And when you're sharing screen, it's already popped out. Oh, we love that. And so we're just going to have our popped out. You can drag it around the screen wherever you want. I'm probably going to put it over here because I kind of know my slides already. And that way I can see the chat as people are talking, but I can then also advance my slides. Look how great that is. Um, and you can use your arrows or your mouse. And now let's say I get to the end of my presentation. I'm just going to hit stop share and Zoom pops right back up for me on my main display. My screen, my slides are still full screen on my right display, but here I am in Zoom and I can continue with my breakouts or my closing or whatever I'm kind of coming to next. Whew. So a couple clicks there, but you can follow me along. And I think the big thing for PC users is whatever your F3 is to be able to look at another program while one program is full screen would be your hack. Well, hopefully you learned a little bit more and a little bit easier about how to share your slides and still see Zoom and still see the chat. Again, big reminder, I did this all with two monitors. Can't recommend it more to make sure that you have just more real estate for everything else that you're showing. Well, that brings me to the end of my video. I'm Logan Clements. I'm a freelance event producer based here in Seattle, Washington, but I execute events here and all over the world. And I do other videos all about event production, more about Zoom, event planning, running my own business, a little bit of stuff about China since my events in China are coming back. And as always, I appreciate you taking the time today and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.